My name is Ruth Carter and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona and I'm also the owner of Carter Law Firm in Phoenix. And today I want to talk about using third parties for your blog, your photos, your videos, things like that. Um, whether you are a freelancer and you want to be providing those services or you're a business who wants to hire some third parties to do some of this work for you. Um, no matter which side of the deal you're on, you need to have a really good contract up front. I was just talking with someone who wanted to get into freelancing and I told her before you do anything, make sure you have a solid contract template that covers you know, the scope of the work you're going to do, when you're going to get paid, how you're going to get paid, uh, dealing with copyright issues, whether you're going to retain it, they're going to retain it. In most cases, the business that hires you wants to have the copyright or they will assume that they automatically get it even without a contract. You don't. Um, and, but if the person who's hiring you obtains the copyright at the end of the project, then the freelancer probably wants to have a license to put a copy of the work in their portfolio so they can use it to get other work. Makes a lot of sense. But if you don't have it written down, um, then that won't be there. Uh, you may also want to have rules about if you're writing something for uh, one business, whether you're allowed to repurpose that for somebody else. Most businesses, if they're smart, don't allow this. Um, but in that case, charge them more. Uh, another thing to think about is with every contract, you want to have provisions in place that are going to resolve problems. So if something bad happens between you and the person you're working with, um, how are you going to fix it? Are you going to have to go to court? Are you going to hire an arbitrator, a uh, mediator? And where are you going to duke it out and under which state laws? So if, especially if you're working with people who are out of state, you want to have that um, crystal clear from the beginning so that if something bad happens, um, you already know in advance how you're going to take care of it. So um, I hope this has been helpful. If you are somebody who is either wanting to be hired as a freelancer or wants to hire freelancers, please make sure you have solid contracts in place before the project begins. Um, and that way you avoid problems. So if you need that kind of help, uh, hire a business attorney in your community and I will catch up with you later. Take care.